Uh, maybe I'll uh, subscribe to someone, tell them to subscribe back, and then I'll unsubscribe from them. Oh, that's pure evil. Oh, oh man. Wait a second. Hang on. Why did I just wake up? I'm a, I'm a doll. I shouldn't be able to wake up and breathe and move around. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Yep, this is... I'm I'm still in the dollhouse. I, I hate these clothes. Who chose these clothes for me? I I can't believe it. I'm I'm alive. I I was I was just a doll this morning or last night and now I'm actually a thinking breathing living. I don't know if I'm breathing. It doesn't look like I'm breathing, but I'm I'm a living doll. This is this is an opportunity that I've I don't know if I've had before. I've never felt this much power. Oh yes, I need to I need to get out of here. I need to get out of here as soon as I can. I need to rush out. Okay, you are amazing just the way you are. Now or never. See, these sort of inspirational posters are things I don't need anymore. I need to get out of here. I need to I need to escape. I'm going to escape the dollhouse. I'm going to escape everything. I'm going to get my revenge. My full revenge because now that I've become a real living possibly not breathing but could be breathing human being I or well, maybe I'm not I'm still probably made of plastic but I I can move and I can breathe which is pretty impressive on its own now that I can do that surely I can get revenge or I can uh what can I do I guess get revenge on who though? Who? I mean, no one's really mistreated me. Or have they? I mean, they put this shirt on me that I don't really like. You know what? That's the last straw. The shirt is the last straw. I'm done. I'm sick of this. I am going to go and find someone. Okay, I've, uh, I've, I, I don't know where I actually turned up, but I, I need to escape somewhere. So I, I guess just followed arrows or something to find out where to escape this is stage one I don't, I don't understand I just need to get out of here you know I'll be start here we go I need it I'm finally escaping I spent my this is like uh, I mean it's not really this is sort of like the you know the Melanie Martinez song the dollhouse uh, where it's like the dolls the do it's all about the dolls and they're singing and and they're being scary it's it's like that except I'm the scary one now I'm the creepy one I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna do some bad things. I'll tell you that. Uh, I won't tell you what bad things. Maybe I'll. Uh, maybe I will. Uh, when I get out of here, I will uh, become a member of government and do a poor job, huh? Uh, no, actually, that's already being done by many members of government. So I should probably. I, I'll leave that to the pros. Um, maybe I'll. I'll. Uh, I'll. I'll Go to McDonald's, order a burger, and then just leave. Don't pay for it. No, just leave. Well, I, McDonald's is probably bad. Maybe I'll go... I mean, they ask for your money right there. I can't just walk away. Maybe I'll go and order it and pay for it and then walk away. But then I'm just, I guess, giving someone a free burger. That's not really evil. I, I can't really think of anything evil I want to do. Uh, maybe I'll... Uh, subscribe to someone tell them to subscribe back and then I'll unsubscribe from them oh that's pure evil oh my goodness my nose is itchy oh oh look at that you just you can just tell that I do not want to be I would rather go back to being a doll you know as a doll you never get itchy you don't you honestly don't that's why I never move, because I'm like, what's the point of moving if I can just stay perfectly still? I'm not going to get itchy. I don't get uncomfortable. I don't even really get bored. Whoa. Okay. That. I, I tried to jump over the girl, and I fell on her head, and I don't know. She's trying to escape as well. She's also a doll. She's trying to get out of here. She's like Barbie. Okay, I'm going to... I'll go first, because I have no patience. And she looks like she's playing on mobile, because, uh, you know, you can always pretty much... Well, you can't always, but you can sometimes 
tell when people are playing on mobile because they're sort of like they move and then they rotate the camera and then they jump and then they rotate the camera and then they jump you know but with uh with pc you can sort of do it all at once you can do anything you want really anything you want anything you can do you can conquer the world you can cure all disease and fix world hunger 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 whoa oh wait what Oh, no, no, I, I see, I see. You're supposed to jump on these light blue ones. Okay. I was so confused. I just thought it was a weird pattern, and I fell. I fell off. I'm um, classic me. You know what I like about this lobby? You don't... It doesn't let you die. And that's something that is very underappreciated in obbies. Oh, my goodness. In obbies these days. Uh, people don't do it often, but it should be utilized more. Because you not dying means you... When you fall off, you don't have to wait that extra, like, five seconds. Well... Well, it's trying to figure out, you know, you don't have time to rage, basically. Because it, it's like you fall off, you try again, like this. See, I fell off, I try again. I <laughs> I fall off, I try again. I've, I've actually, I actually haven't really done ones with moving pieces before. This, uh, oh my goodness. And it's like a difficult moving piece because you don't move with it. So you need to, you need to like do it on your own like this. That is awesome. I don't know, it's very simple. But I haven't seen an obby do it before, and so it took me a while to get used to it. And this girl's going backwards. Girl, you're going backwards, you know that? Do you know that you're going backwards, or...? Okay, I will keep going. We're on 25 already. We're, we're gonna get out of here in no time. I don't know how far this goes, but probably doesn't go much further than 25. Okay, we, need, we got a lot of work to do. We need to speed through this, just to get as far as we possibly can. We're at 12% through. Actually, that's not bad. Do you think we can do all of this today in this um in this video do you think i'll be able to get through this entire obby i i have no idea that would be pretty incredible i gotta say so i'm gonna speed through it absolutely speed through it my throat is itchy my knees are weak i can't seem to stand on my own two feet those are elvis lyrics i believe yes my hands are shaking and my knees are weak i can't seem to stand on my own two feet yeah uh Oh, why does a bug come in love? Oh, I'm all shook up. Yep. Yeah, it's uh, all shook up, the song. Which I was in a mu musical, a musical, a school musical called All Shook Up, which was all Elvis songs, and it was awesome. That is the best musical I've ever done. And, uh, you know, not necessarily the best play I've ever done, but the best musical by far. It was so much fun. I loved my character. My character was named Dennis. I think I've talked about this before. Oh, Dennis! I didn't even th think about that. But yes, my character was named the same as the YouTuber that you guys all know and love. Um, but no, my character was named Dennis. Oh my goodness, I can't believe this. My character- I can't believe this! My character was named Dennis, and he was a want to- a want to be- a wannabe dentist. At- why can't I get past this one? This one's actually quite tricky. You need to, like, land perfectly in these gaps. There we go. Okay. Um, so Dennis was a wannabe dentist. And he was a good guy, you know? He was a good guy. And he was loving. And he wasn't loving. Oh, yeah, actually, no, he was loving. What am I talking about? Of course he was loving. And he was the, he was the character that people rooted for most of the time. Um, because he basically had a crush... On his best friend, which was a little strange because it's played by my best friend, but I but it's acting, so I don't really care. Um, and also, it kind of made it easier, you know, when it's played by your best friend and it's supposed to be your best friend in the show as well. Very very easy. But um, anyway, so uh, he had a crush on this girl named Natalie, who was uh, who is his best friend, um, who was played by my friend Maddie. And uh, oh, this is gonna be tricky. Okay, I need to focus on this. Okay, um, and. He basically wanted to... What was I saying? He had a crush on her, and so, um, but he also wanted to be a dentist. But then this new guy comes in town, and the new guy is like an Elvis-type character. And, um, and Natalie falls in love with him, and it, go it gets crazy. And then, and then at the end, uh, oh my goodness. At the end, Dennis, my character, ends up with another girl whose name is Sandra. And, uh, or Sandra, 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 and, uh, and she was played by another one of my best friends. So, I, uh, you know, it was, it was a great, it was a great time. It was a lot, like, a lot of my close friends, or if not all of my close friends, uh, at the time were in that play, or in that musical, and, um, and it was just so much fun. I 
really, I, it was just incredible. It was honestly like I, 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 I wish I could just go back and perform it one more time, uh, because that the character was so much fun to explore because he was like, he was a character that just it, it felt like you needed to love him, you know? He was lovey, he was lovey dovey. I'm lovey dovey, but uh, anyway, I'm a doll, so I shouldn't be. <laughs> I, f I forgot for a second that I was a doll. I, I didn't, I didn't actually, wa I wasn't actually in a musical because I've spent my entire life as plastic. So, um, so yeah, that's strange. I didn't just break character, guys. No, I didn't do that. You, you have no proof that I broke character. You have absolutely no proof except your, your, your lies, your allegations. I don't need your allegations. You can't handle the truth. I'm 23% into this, into this obby, and, uh, and it feels like I should be much further. But, uh, I, like, I'm trying to go as fast as I possibly can. There, there must be a lot. I, I just hit 24%, so there's around 200, uh, stages in this, in this thing. I'm only 50 into it. That is pretty insane, but I will, I will get through it. I'm not even... I was about to say I'm not even going to die the rest of the game, but I died apparently. But from now on, I'm not going to die, and you're going to be like, Oh my goodness, gent, you actually just did that, that obby without dying. And, um, but I, and, <laughs> and I'll be like, yeah, I did. Um, from, from here on out is what I mean. Uh, unless there's some, like, something that I don't understand. Like, I think I have to jump on the black tiles here. If I don't understand that you got to jump on the black tiles, it doesn't count. Like, why am I dying here? Am I touching... Oh, that one I touched the color. Okay, yeah, you just don't touch the color, but I guess I was touching the color somehow. Um, what are these? Little giant Mentos. Well, they're probably not Mentos, because Mentos are pretty much always white, if I remember. They're different flavors sometimes, but... Okay, that one's a little strange, and, uh... And, yeah, that was, uh... I just got some messages, so ignore that. What's going on? What is this? What is this? What's going on with these... They're like slow. Look at this. Oh my goodness. This is just so strange. They should look like conveyor belts so I don't get confused. Because what was that, really? Like, that was crazy. Oh, oh. Okay, 60. We're on 60. Now we gotta go down these. I always hate going down these ones. Like, it asks you to go up it and then it's like, now do the same thing, but going down. What is going on? Wait, so can I not get on the purple? I'm not allowed to touch the purple. Okay. Now we gotta jump on these little red blocks. They're Lego bricks, because we're a doll, remember? Remember that storyline that I did at the start of the video? We're a scary, creepy doll trying to do some evil. <laughs> I'm staying in character, I promise. Oh, oh no! Okay, remember when I said I wasn't gonna die for the rest of the obby? I meant from here on out, I'm not gonna die. This is, this is it. This is proof, right? From here on out, from this point, uh, from when I finish this sentence, Right now, I won't die from here on out. All right, that was my sentence finished. So that was my commitment to living. Um, unless there is some dumb mechanic that I didn't understand, uh, then I will be safe from here on out. I'll just, I won't, I'm not gonna fail any parts of this, this obby because it seems pretty simple. Uh, you know, there's these ladders, they're simple, simple ladders, going over here, I don't, I don't, okay, I can't tell what this is, so let me just figure out what this one is first, okay, you need to jump on the dark purple, now I'm not gonna die, you, I gotta always figure out what, what the actual thing is asking me to do first, and then I can, then I can, uh, not die to it, you know, but uh, until I know, I gotta, I gotta do some testing, right, like this is probably, yep, you go on these ones, and so now I'm not going to die because I know that. Uh, this one, you probably don't touch that light blue. So I'm not going to die because I know that now. See uh, see how it works? See how all these things that you don't die to jump back and forth between these things? This is pretty self-explanatory. You know, once you play some obbies, you start to get the hang of it. You start to understand how things work. Uh, I remember watching people like Dennis when I first started playing Roblox. I watched people like Dennis at obbies. And I just did not understand how he did it so well. And now I do understand. It's pretty, pretty, uh, pretty basic. It's, uh, you know, it's just about understanding how your character moves, you know? It's just about understanding the intricacies that go into...
the movement of your character. You know how far he jumps, you know when to click the space bar to make him jump. Look at these Mentos again. We got, yet again, another uh, product placement from Mentos themselves coming at you, trying to get you to buy their products. Imagine if Mentos sponsored me. It's not my favorite thing in the world, but I'd, I, I, would, I would eat Mentos all the time if, if they gave me a sponsorship. Oh my goodness. Okay, this is this one's a bit tricky, but it's all right because I I figured it out and I wasn't gonna die, so I didn't die. Uh, this one I still had to figure out, so it didn't count. All right, I figured it out. Now I'm not gonna die. There we go. What about this one? I jump on these. Yep. Okay, I'm not gonna die now because I figured that out. It's pretty simple. Pretty simple right there, so I didn't die. What about this? It's like hole in the wall, so I'm not gonna die because I know it's like hole in the wall. There's a hole in the wall. You jump through the hole, you're fine. It's pretty simple. Pretty basic stuff. This is a spool. This is like a spool of string, but there's no string on it, so it's just the spool. So I could have just stopped talking when I said it's, it's like a spool. But, uh, oh, okay, that one, that one, that one was my fault. Okay, I died, and I said I wasn't going to die, and there's nothing to blame it on there. So, uh, that's all my fault. Oh, my goodness. Okay, see that? Now we're on the cloud. We are up, we are down, saved to the cloud. Like, uh, like, like photos on an iPhone. You know, um, why is the moon below us, guys? I, I, that death doesn't count because I was distracted by the fact that the moon is below us. Are we in space? Are we in space right now? Why do I keep dying? What's going on? Am I really that distracted or am I just a dumb dumb? There we go. Now I'm figuring it out. I just needed to look at it from the side because from the side you can figure out how the distance, how to judge the distance. Before that, you couldn't really. All right, this one, sneak through there. Oh, that was a bit tricky. Now we're on toilet rolls of all different colors, sponsored by Mentos. <laughs> uh, going through purple, pink, purple. And now there's these spinning blades of death, but we don't need to worry about them too much. These are actual spools. The last time, it would, like they kind of looked like spools. These ones actually are spools. Am I using the right term there, spools? Maybe it's like spindles, you know? Oh, I thought you would have to jump on the white, but you have to jump on the rainbow. That's weird. I haven't seen games do that before. Obbies, rather. That seems counterintuitive. Because the rainbow normally denotes death. Like, what? Is this is this one you jump on this black? See, that, that's again. They're changing it up a lot now. They're changing it quite a lot. And you know what? I am so tired, and I just realized... We can't get through this entire thing. I can't completely escape. I know I'm a creepy doll who needed to escape, but I didn't do it properly. And that's my fault. But I need to wrap up this video. So, uh, thanks for watching, ladies and gentlemen. If you enjoyed this type of video, let me know down in the comment section below. Uh, make sure to subscribe for daily content. Every single day there's a new video. And uh, go to all the links in the description below. They're all very great links. They're awesome. Go check them out, including the Discord server, the Twitter, uh, the merch store, all that sort of stuff. And uh, that's about it. So thanks for watching, guys. Stay perfect. Stay positive. See you guys. Mwah.